Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. Welcome back also to CC, the test server for EVE Online, where I am looking for a shield ship to run uh, Abyssal Sidewith. Uh, Sidewith, I think that tier 3 should be a goal. Uh, to for this ship to handle before we say that yeah this is gonna be uh, like a good ship to run the abyss with and uh, this time I want to try out a healer I've been trying with an onyx uh, but really only the missile damage doesn't seem to be enough and uh, I've been having some real problems with it so let's up the DPS a little bit we have a passive healer um, resistances aren't that great but we do have 740 DPS, which is like double the Onyx. It's also Rapid Lights, which will hopefully help with the damage application on some of the smaller, faster targets. So let's get in here, use Fierce Exotic Filament. Let's activate this baby and let's see what we can do. Oh, I, I also, of course, increase my uh, resistances by quite a bit with this 78, 72, 79, 82. So it's really only 72, the thermal hole. Let's see if this works or not. First room. Once we enter it. Okay, interesting. Um, definitely something different from what I'm used to. Let's activate my resistances. My afterburner as well. And so we've got some small drones. Let's break out the hammerheads. I think we can go full damage considering what's on the field here. My range is 36 kilometers, which is not that great. And do I just rush them? Or what is this? An automata suppressor? Maybe we can try to get close to that. See if we can drag them in a little bit. And see what happens next. A little bit of shield damage. And the small drone is blocked quite effectively, I must say. So, let's get closer. Maybe do an orbit at 25 to try to keep a transversal going. And see if we can target one of these Lucid Deep Watchers next. 38 should be in range now. So let's add some missile damage. Rapid lights. So that should be pretty fast. Full DPS on the Deep Watcher. Shield tank so far is holding and, and we still have the bioactive cache. Keep going. Uh, Alright, I'm actually seeing a little bit of shield wrapping here as well, which is quite interesting. Uh, there seems to be wrapping happening. Let's take a look at that. First time that I'm seeing these drifter ships. Uh, these, oh, sleeper drones actually. And uh, I was seeing some remote wrapping, I think, from battleship to battleship. So you have little choice. You get a break at least one of the two with the other one on field. And uh, let's keep an eye. Try to see what's happening next. Shields are doing okay, but I am getting through a first full launcher here. And we're only just breaking the first battleship. So that one is down. That's good. Let's see. How four more volleys and drones do on a Lancer next. That definitely does feel like it's decent damage. Now we need a reload. That one dies. Let's go for the next Lancer. Okay, quick reload. Let's see how the drones handle the Ephialtis Lancer on their own. Okay. 1100 that's pretty good damage and we are still just orbiting this stuff at 25 now one goes down drones on the final battleship and i think that at this point we are a bit more in control so i'd say that that is good Missiles are back. Let's start firing. And he is trying to get away from me, but he is pretty slow at this point. He's using a target painter. Okay. And we have kinetic resistance penalty scan resolution bonus. So do I immediately see the 
68 yeah that's become a bigger hole for sure so it's theirs of course so i should actually take kinetic missiles with me here as well rather than the thermal ones and uh, that would be more effective missiles but i don't have them with me so we'll see how we can handle this now break those shields please let's get an orbit close to the the cache here for the loot and yeah my my tank is holding quite easily so far and uh, the increased dps from the onyx is definitely a blessing so off you go it does still take two full launchers in order to uh, get through this kill this guy grab the loot return the drones reload the launchers and let's move on to the second room here at first my thought was really uh, something like the Cerberus why would I take that it only has three small drones that's not gonna be that great uh, for the added DPS might as well take the Onyx that has more resistances but to be honest the DPS from the Onyx is a bit too low and uh, I've, I've encountered some real problems with remote wrapping setups uh, nuting setups that even took out my um, my invulnerability fields and things like that so not that great you want if you're going shield you want that dps you want that application it does look to me like the Gila is gonna be a pretty good choice for that next room we're talking some crew Ooh, we're actually talking triglavian ships for the first time these guys ought to be a bit faster so this time i'm actually going to use my valkyries oh that's actually a bit of a waste and let's maybe try to again do an orbit around the gate here now they're close enough yep there we go so let's start firing we actually have some remote wrapping happening here as well that is not good news because looks like they actually have a pretty strong resistance profile and i am going after one of the cruisers here first we are doing decent amount of damage but that is an important note here right off the bat a lesson to learn these these frigates are remote wrappers as well of course uh, it makes sense that's something to keep in mind when it comes to these triglavian uh bastards you could say uh so yeah full, full dps on my one target here please uh shields look at that slowly breaking luckily we do have decent dps let's see how one of these frigates likes my dps hopefully my drones can uh, apply Ooh, lovely triglavian explosion as well yeah those guys do go down a bit more quickly like that so one more volley thank you very much next one uh let's start approaching the cage here for a moment target that as well half shields though so it's probably gonna be the constant damage application from the cruiser that can be a threat that's been used up and look at that the remote wrapping keeping his Demavik brother alive despite the fact that I'm using these fast Valkyries very interesting keep at it there we go finally he breaks we're gonna go after the last one that definitely feels like a pretty big challenge sometimes you're very lucky you get uh, just you know tiny little drones um, but these triglavians Oof, they're actually yeah going through my shield resistance now as well let's see if I can bounce off um, but I think that he has too much speed 1800 velocity on that cruiser that's actually quite a lot let's go like that maybe do an orbit at 5k here and at least now his shields are gone and we will survive but only just and here again I must say I, I'm not liking the passive shield setup uh, for this side so far. I'm really getting more and more convinced that you want to be able to use the capacitor as a resource for active tank. Get yourself up and running 
uh, for the next side fully topped off and and here it's going to just take me time i need to allow my shields to regen and uh, he is in fact slowly burning through my armor as well my dps oop, i'm actually in structure my dps should be enough at this point and now i need to wait for my shields to regen so we'll just slowly grab this return to drone bay do a full reload and, and wait to at least have a bit more shield HP. So it should go up faster and faster because the regen at max rate is three, 33 HP a second, which is not bad. Um, but yeah, I have no way now to, for instance, use my cap, get back up. Uh, I, I don't have um, the, uh, the overload up uh, option. None of that actually will work. So I am at the moment a little bit worried about these passive shield setups. Because something like the Gila with 740 DPS, it's really not bad. That's a lot of DPS for a cruiser already. You can get a better tank on them, but with the lower DPS, you're just going to apply that much longer. And, gotta say, again, I have to confirm that these tier trees can have some teeth as well. Uh, if you're up against uh, the wrong one. So at this point, I got little choice. Gotta allow myself to reach in. It does go up more and more quickly normally, 18%. So I gotta wait until that's at least 40, preferably even more than that. But uh, quite a bit of a surprise. This is my Sash 4 out of 10 uh, Gila that I'm taking for this uh, particular test here. So we've got a uh, defense field purger and a field extender. We also have one rig for the damage. These are the rapid light missile launchers. I'd say it's still very important to have good application on the smaller targets like the frigates, like the rogue drones. You saw how important it was to clear those out pretty quickly. Large shield extender, EM, uh, adaptive invulnerability, medium shield extender, afterburner, and in another adaptive invulnerability, two drone damage amplifiers, and a damage control. I'd say it should be okay. It's not doing that well. So now we are at 35%. My region should be close to its optimal. I'm going to wait until we reach hmm, 50. Let's say 50. And then hopefully we don't encounter something too hard in the next room. Because again here, let's keep this in mind as well. I got 8 minutes and 40 seconds to get through the final room. Let's give it a go into the abyss site number three for a tier three let's see what we encounter here uh lots of uh, small stuff it would seem okay uh, again i'm gonna use my valkyries i am a bit worried to be honest because a lot of these can be a lot of damage um so let's try to move like away from them at least a little bit missiles go 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 do your damage let's try to burn right through them and maybe orbit this stuff at 10 kilometers and now i do need these to break all right that one did break pretty effectively spark needle tessella is next attack 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 lots of e-war dps not too bad for now Keep going. Yeah, that one is down rather effectively. That's good. Let's take the fog caster next. See if we can apply some damage to him. I think the spark needles are the damage dealers. So I want to get rid of those guys first. And these basically, in my opinion, are amongst the easier waves to actually have to deal with. Although... Um, you have to keep in mind that you need a good way to apply the DPS. So the um, the Gila has really good weapon system combination. Uh, especially now that I'm seeing that my drones are tanking DPS as well. You have a big advantage here of, doing, of being able to do some drone tanking. Uh, with incredible application also from your rapid light missile launchers. So we're going to go actually another big advantage now that I'm thinking about this. Uh, let's go after this one next is that I can if these shields get close to depleted I can return my Valkyries uh, I would love for you guys to actually return to the drone bay 
Thank you. Sweet chuck to, ha to the hammerheads. Like that. And blop. If they want to switch back to my drones, it's not a big deal. These guys have full shields again. Not bad damage. Next one. Yeah, that's that's definitely pretty good damage from these hammerheads here. Looks like they are doing the right damage type to these uh, rogue drones. And we will do this tier 3. But being in structure, well, are we doing this one comfortably? I don't know. I'm not sure that I would uh, call it that. Let's see what the drones and then the missile launchers alone do. That's pretty good. Drones, that's pretty nice as well. And these rapid light launchers do have a decent amount of DPS as well. Which will eventually... Ah, good god. So little left and needing a full volley again. I think you're better off going like that. Let's switch the drones out. Maybe like this. And we will make it in this healer. Um, but I think that we have shown the danger of the Triglavians. And that we have also shown the disadvantage of the passive tank. Um, I was stuck a little bit in that second room. Waiting for my shields to come back. Because it was so close. Having to deal with the Triglavians. Or was it the Drifters? I think it was Triglavians. So. Blop. He does go down. As one of my hammerheads was pretty close to breaking. Let's approach the loot piñata. Take this out and return to drone bay. Go, go, go. Quick reload here. Take the loot. And let's get back in the Triglavian origin conduit. As we finish sight in the Gila. So, as I've been saying, I've been experimenting with some tech tools as well. The Onyx. Not that great. I think we'll want to take the king of these combat sites uh, already in EVE Online. Uh, if you want a shield ship for Into the Abyss, I think you'll want to go for the healer. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.